A magnificent tomb has been discovered in Egypt belonging to a keeper of royal secrets. This highly trusted man served two ancient pharaohs of the Sixth Dynasty and successfully navigated the political chaos surrounding a royal assassination. Prof. Kamel O. Kuriskewix from the Faculty of Oriental Studies at University of Warsaw recently announced the discovery of the tomb of Meksexi. Serving as a royal clerk for the second pharaoh of the Sixth Dynasty, User Care, who ruled between 2333-2331 BC, the university press release says Meksexi was laid to rest in a lavish tomb. According to the researcher, the elaborately carved tomb is perfectly suited for a man who held a position of great stature in the royal court of user care. Pharaoh user care was the 35th entry on the Abydos king list, which says he ruled before Pepi I and after his father Teddy. Many historians refer to user care as an assassin and a report in Heritage Daily says he was involved in a harem plot to assassinate his father and predecessor, Pharaoh Teddy. Having been a keeper of secrets for both Teddy and his son Userker, Meksiksi must have led a complex life during these chaotic times where deceit was a primary weapon in the fight for power over all of ancient Egypt. Egyptologists know that Meksiksi's superior in the royal court was Merifnebeth, a respected vizier during the Sixth Dynasty, who served as the highest-ranked official under the pharaoh. Merifnebef's tomb was discovered in 1997 in the dry moat surrounding the famous Steppe Pyramid of Djoser in the Saqqara Necropolis, northwest of the ruins of Memphis in Egypt. Built over 4,700 years ago, this structure is the oldest pyramid in Egypt, representing the center of a vast mortuary complex in which both Meksiksi and Merifnebef were entombed. Prof. Curis Cuix believes the dry moat around Meksiksi's tomb represents a sort of spiritual boundary separating his decaying remains from the world of the living. The archaeologists have so far only unveiled the facade of Meksiksi's chapel, which is decorated with reliefs of exceptional beauty, according to the professor. He said a relief on the wall reveals an exceptionally skilled hand, elegant lines, subtle modeling, of an artist at least as good as the best of the authors of the reliefs in Merifnebef's tomb. However, the best is yet to come as the next phase of excavations will reveal the chapel's interior, which is expected to be even more spectacular. The professor said the quality of craftsmanship discovered in Meksiksi's tomb suggests he hired the very best artisans. Funds wouldn't have been a struggle for Meksiksi for other reliefs, show that he was keeper of the secrets of the pharaoh's archive of documents. A mysterious universe article says it can be assumed that this title is not so much about the category of documents as about access to the stage of their creation. This means Meksiksi knew the secrets of making letters and words, which in an illiterate Egyptian society were associated with magic and cosmic knowledge. Furthermore, Meksiksi knew which documents were to be produced at the Royal Chancellery long before they were published, and as we all know, to be forewarned is to be forearmed, and knowledge is power. So, Meksiksi worked as the official keeper of secrets for Pharaoh's Teddy and his son user care. However, reliefs revealed that he was also titled Inspector of the Royal Estate, and he later became the official priest and keeper of Teddy's tomb. Meksiksi was present when the documents were made detailing the possible assignation of Teddy, and as such he was one of user care's most trusted members of staff, and this generally costs. Suspecting he was an assassin, Pepe one, user care's successor, deemed him illegitimate, and this is why no pyramid or royal tomb of user care has been found. Meanwhile, Meksiksi was laid to rest in a magnificent tomb, indicating how much he was respected as a keeper of the secrets of both Userkare and his father Teddy. 
Now that his tomb has been identified and its exterior facade is excavated, the next step is to examine the interior, looking for Meixixi's burial shaft, which is certain to contain a host of treasures.